So what's up guys, it's Primetime2 and today I'm coming to you guys with an Amazon pickup video um, of sorts. Uh, and um, this is what I've gotten recently. Um, this is uh, something I found that was on sale and this is the PS Vita Cradle and it sells for $20. I picked it up for $4.99. Can't go wrong with that. And I've been wanting to have something to put my Vita on. We'll just see if I have any room to put it, you know, on my desk. I have a lot of shit. Um, then, I have the Metal Gear, the Legacy Collection, uh, 1997 to 2012. Um, you know, the only thing I don't like about this is it didn't include Revengeance. But I understand that they had to cut corners to um, make this as affordable as possible because if they would have included that it would have been around $79.99 with the art book which um hold on the art book is right there um, I'm not gonna open it up and show you guys the art book probably in another video um, but this is what I got uh, I'm not opening it up since it's brand new you know what what the hell I'll open it up I'm not gonna open up the uh, the I'm not gonna open up the box themselves since I know there's code in them and um and I don't want to show that off you know because I probably won't redeem them for for a while so here we have the the slip cover which is uh pretty cool and then we have uh the actual game and then we have the book and um let's take a look at it it's got some pretty it's got like a um pictures of the cover art of all the meta gears meta gear solid snake eater all the ps2 games it's basically got like cover arts and stuff like that as for this Trying to open it up. Hold on, guys. All right. So I have this open. Let's make sure there's no code showing. And there is one, but I won't show that one. Here is the uh, Metal Gear Lo Legacy Collection. And on in, on this disc, it says Metal Gear Solid. The first one, Metal Gear Solid 2, Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid something that I cannot read because it's so damn small. Metal Gear Solid something else. <laughs> Anyway, there's a lot of Metal Gear Solid on this disc, the first one. On the second disc, we got Metal Gear Solid 4 by itself, um, Trophy Edition. Um, I had this game, so I sold it. And basically, I ended up... This this cost uh, $49.99, but I made about $10 for the... Um, no, about $8 in total. For, so I ended up paying about 42 for this when you consider I made, made some money for sell, from selling Metal Gear Solid 4 because I'd rather have the um, trophy edition um, this is a, a good collection if you don't own any of the Metal Gear the Metal Gear Solid games um, I know this is weird for me to do a video and not be at my desk but yeah trying to do th things differently guys here we have the main thing that I wanted to show you guys now I know this is a gaming channel but I I'm, I consider this gaming um, because you use this for gaming now this is a H HIS um, Radeon HD 7850 PCI Express 3.0 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 um, 4K times 2K Quad HD. You can't get that unless you spent thousands of dollars on on a TV. And I'm talking about like 
rich folks kind of money that I don't got <laughs> so that I won't be doing that for years um, HDMI of course um, this is a graphics card that's comparable to the GTX 660 that I was looking to get but instead I got this one for I believe $179.99 and my girlfriend got this for me completely free by doing surveys thank you babe she got it for me for Father's Day um, if you guys want to know exactly what it looks like, let's open it up. Um, I haven't opened it up yet. I'm very excited to put it in my computer, which I haven't yet. Since uh, I've been using... I've, I have been using my onboard GPU for the past... Um, sorry, guys. Maybe I should come more prepared next time. I've been using my onboard motherboard uh, graphics card, which I believe is a 66 something. And it's not bad because I, I was able to play Half Life 2. And um, I played a couple other games, but it, it could not run Darksiders at a decent speed at all. So it must not be that good. But it was good enough to run Half Life 2 very, very good. So the graphics card on the motherboard is good, but it just isn't good enough and sufficient enough for my play style of PC gaming, which I want a graphics card that's going to give me ultra settings on a lot of games, and that just wasn't cutting it. And I also had a 60, I think it was a, a 6770 Radeon. Um, I've had the Radeon series, but I used to be a GTX fanboy. Yes, I used to be a fanboy of the GTX. But I jumped over on the HD Radeon family because I heard good, great things and the, ch the price is cheaper. Which, as you see, for the same price of uh, $20 more, you get the same product. Basically, the GTX 660, which is relevant to the same card as this. Um, so, here it is. From what I understand, HIS improved their packaging. If you don't know about PC gaming, um, what the GPU does, it, it makes it com compatible for your computer to be able to play um, great, to be able to output great graphics on your computer, on your screen. You can even do dual screens. But you have to have a strong CPU as well as RAM. So you just can't have just a strong uh, GPU. You you have to have everything. But I already have a good um, CPU. I have a quad core um, AMD Phenom two, uh, 2, I think. And I have um, 4 gigabytes of DDR3, which I have to upgrade to. Uh, 8 gigabytes since that's like becoming the standard now and that's like the requirement and I'll be doing that sometime in um, around September hopefully if I can get some money to do that that's like something I want for Christmas but here it is um, here is the the graphics card um, it's pretty small compared to back in the, um, around 2008 2009 the GTX 260 those things were gigantic this thing's a, a baby, and those things were less powerful than this, so this is just awesome. Um, I like the fan on here. It looks like I can clean this very good. Um, it has the uh, HDMI and the display ports, and uh, as well as the v VGA compatible if you use the um, the the DVI to VGA uh, converter that I, I believe I have one of those. So that's all my pickups for today. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, I guess I have nothing else to say. Um, I hope you guys watch my other video about single player not going nowhere. And I really, really am agree with what I had to say with myself. And if I was watching that video, I would agree with everything I said. Um, also, uh, I wanted to know what, what games games have you guys been playing? Um, lately, I've been playing a little bit of Half Life Two, uh, Tokyo Jungle Mobile, which that game is freaking phenom phenomenal. Uh, I j I regret not having PlayStation Plus during the period that that game 
was free, the PlayStation 3 version. So I'll probably end up picking Tokyo Jungle when the uh, PlayStation Network Classics, Arcade Classics, that just came out for $39.99 goes down in price to like $20. Um, because that will just be an awesome deal considering Tokyo Jungle is as addicting as it is. I never thought it would be, but it's... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's like an RPG mixed with action. And the mobile one is just like a simple version of it. So I the, the, the PS3 version is more robust with better graphics and actual animations than the mobile one that don't have all that. But it's still basically the same thing as Sev. It's more like a stiff version. But it's still a great game, if you ask me. It's worth the $2.99. So if you ha you're asking me about Tokyo Jungle Mobile um, time, time Team, buy it. It's a great game. Um, so far, I think I put two hours into it. It has in-game trophies, which I have almost gotten, like, I think over almost 60% of them. Um, I don't know why they didn't make this a uh, PlayStation Vita game and made them with trophies. I don't understand, but that's what they should have did because um, it would have sold more. Also, I heard that um, excuse me. I had to had to cough there. I heard that um, the Xbox One support supposedly beat PS4 and uh, and pre-orders but it turns out that that's not true I really don't care much for the next generation consoles I do when they come down in price because then I can afford them I do care about the games that haven't been announced also Ratchet and Clank uh, into the Nexus which I'm a huge Ratchet and Clank fan guys if you, or fanatic I love the Ratchet and Clank games I love Ratchet and Clank the ones for the PS2, I have almost every single one of them. I don't ha have a Quest for Booty or um, the one that came out for PSP, um, and they also put it on PS2. Or the PS3 ones, I haven't got those two yet, but I will. And I don't like all for one, but I'm going to eventually buy it. I do have it for PlayStation Plus, and I played it, but I want a physical copy of that game. But I do own the, the, uh, the, the Ratchet & Clank Collection uh, on... PSN now, but um, I want to also get the PS3 three games. So if you guys have them or are selling the Ratchet and Clank games, um, just send me a, a private message and I, and we could talk a price or something because uh, I'm very, very interested in any of the Ratchet and Clank games. Don't try to overprice me or any shit like that because I'm not stupid enough. <laughs> As you see, I like to find deals. I'm If I'm going to overprice overpay for something i'll go to amazon and ebay and pay retail for it you know what i'm saying i'm always looking for a deal anyway thanks for watching my videos guy i really appreciate um the comments and uh all the subs and uh thanks for watching my video guys